Good morning and welcome to your Wilds weather briefing. Well, we have some low cloud ceilings out there currently, but we are going to see those improve as we go into the morning and into the afternoon hours. We'll maybe even see a little peak of sunshine as we get into the uh, next few hours as well. Looking at conditions throughout the region yesterday, we saw a pretty cool day for us across the Delmarva Peninsula with uh, temperatures ranging in the upper 30s into the low 40s, 39 degrees at Ocean City, Salisbury coming in at 40 degrees. We reached 42 degrees for a high temperature here at Wallops. Similar readings down in the Tidewater region yesterday with 40 degrees at Langley Air Force Base and at Newport News, 42 degrees at Norfolk. Overnight last night, temperatures generally running in the mid to upper 30s. A few low 30s uh, coming in at some locations off to our north and west. Baltimore down to 31 degrees, Dover at 33 degrees. Our overnight low last night here at Wallops was 37. We did see some light precipitation throughout the region over the last 24 hours, most of that coming into late afternoon and into the uh, evening hours last night, picking up 3 hundredths of an inch here at Wallops. 11 hundredths of an inch at Langley as we saw some of the heavier showers off to our south. Norfolk picking up a little under a tenth of an inch of rain as well. As of 9 a.m., temperatures generally running right around 40 degrees. We were at 41 degrees here at Wallops under cloudy skies. Sounding information from this morning's balloon release showing a freezing level at 950 feet and our winds out of a southwesterly direction at the low levels of the atmosphere becoming more westerly in direction as you go up in height we see a west northwest wind at 72 knots at the 25,000 foot level taking a look at our radar this morning just some few light rain showers well off to our south and west not going to see any uh, rain showers here at wallops until later this evening will remain dry with uh, mostly cloudy skies throughout the remainder of the day and as we switch over to our satellite view you can see Plenty of cloudiness, uh, plenty of clouds uh, streaming in from the west, uh, but we do see some breaks in the clouds out toward the uh, central portion of the uh, state of Virginia starting to make their way toward the uh, Wallops region, and we'll likely see a little break in the clouds as we go into the uh, afternoon today. Looking at our current surface analysis, high pressure uh, ridging over the southeastern United States at the surface and that's going to provide us with a southwesterly flow as we go through the day today and especially as we go into Thursday and Friday we'll see that southwesterly flow increasing bumping our temperatures up uh, pretty nicely into the 60s uh, for the next couple of days. Taking a look at a uh, model simulation of what we can expect over the next couple of days as we go through the day today uh, this is in the afternoon hours you can see not really any threat for any kind of precipitation showing up on the models but as we go into the evening hours tonight after midnight, we'll start to see a weak uh, disturbance move through the region, uh, providing us with some light rain shower activity after midnight tonight. That should pretty much be over with by tomorrow morning. And then we'll see a chance of a uh, late rain shower or two during the evening hours of Friday, but a much better chance uh, during the day on Friday as the frontal boundary sweeps through the region. We'll see a few scattered showers developing uh, during the day on Friday in association with that frontal boundary. Some cooler air arriving on Saturday and then some rain showers making their way into the uh, region by late Saturday. Looks like it'll uh, shape up to be a pretty cold rain for us as well as we'll see uh, temperatures struggling uh, to get out of the uh, 40 degree range for daytime highs on Saturday. Looking at the uh, temperatures and what we can expect for today looking at a high Maxing out right around 54 degrees under overcast to mostly cloudy skies today. Seeing temperatures really not falling too much overnight tonight as we uh, continue to see mostly cloudy skies and uh, possibly overcast conditions during the overnight hours. So we'll see our overnight low temperature likely only bottoming out to around 48 degrees uh, in the evening hours tonight. And could even see those temperatures rise a couple of degrees after midnight tonight. Best chance for rain will likely be between midnight and 4 o'clock in the morning we'll see about a uh, 45 to 50% uh, chance of some shower activity during the overnight period and then we'll start the day out with mostly cloudy skies for your Thursday with temperatures right around 52 degrees. Looking at our terminal forecast you can see uh, we have been dealing with those low cloud ceilings throughout the uh, morning hours currently up to around 400 feet. 
with those cloud ceiling, ceilings and we'll uh, see a pretty good improvement over the course of the next couple of hours. By 12 o'clock, uh, should see some breaks in the clouds and uh, see some sunshine peeking through during the afternoon hours. And then we'll see those ceilings lowering once again as we go through the overnight hours tonight. By midnight tonight, those ceilings back down to about 2,500 feet with the chance for some shower activity between the hours of midnight and uh, 4 a.m. look like the best bet for those showers to occur. Taking a look at the next couple of days for Thursday, much warmer conditions with a daytime high of 67 degrees. We do have a uh, 16 to 40 percent chance uh, colored here for precipitation, but most of that activity should be in the later portion of the day with a pretty nice day uh, overall shaping up for Thursday with those highs very warm in the uh, mid to upper 60s. As so we go into the evening hours of Thursday, could see a chance for a few light rain showers, not looking for anything significant uh, for the Thursday evening time frame for rain chances. Uh, any kind of rain that we do get should be light in nature. And then on Friday, we'll see uh, mostly cloudy to overcast skies. Again, we'll see the chance of some showers in association with that frontal boundary that passes through 67 degrees, your high temperature ahead of that front and then some cooler air arriving Friday evening into the day on Saturday. As you can see on our seven day forecast, those uh, rain showers will be off and on throughout the next uh, several days and best chance for uh, moderate precipitation will likely occur on Saturday as we see a uh, area of low pressure developing along that frontal boundary that uh, has moved through Friday evening into Saturday morning. We'll see a cold rain develop during the afternoon and evening hours of Saturday across the uh, Wallops region. High temperature only around 42 degrees. So uh, although we are expecting rain here at Wallops as you work your way off to the north and west up uh, toward the uh, DC area and to Delaware, you could see some uh, snow mixing in up there in that region and to the northern sections of the Delmarva Peninsula. But for us, it looks like an all rain event with a high temperature of 42 degrees. And then as we go into next week, we've got some warming temperatures once again, 54 degrees on Sunday, 54 on Monday, and then looking at a pretty good warm up in store for us in the long range forecast as we go into the middle of next week. We're gonna see some uh, gorgeous weather uh, likely developing here at Wallops, up to 64 degrees under sunny skies on Tuesday and could see even better conditions develop by the middle of next week. That'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.